Hey guys, my name is Troy. Welcome back to the KOTLC fan base. It's your favorite YouTuber here coming back at Welcome you. Welcome back to my bookshelf. I hope you guys like it. We're gonna have a sit down video. If you want to check out my Troy Reads channel, I post a bunch of bookish content and that's why I kind of got these shelves. So yeah, definitely check out that channel. Link in the description. But today we are going to be doing part two, like I said, to the Q&A that I did a few weeks ago. I just got caught up in my music video. Now I'm here. We're gonna finish this out. Basically, you guys asked a bunch of KOTLC related fun questions and we're just gonna get through um the second half of them so yeah i'm so excited just thank you all so much for your support lately like it truly means a lot you guys made dear foster my music video a top hit on our channel and like just like the premiere there's 180 people watching i'm still i'm still blown away by that and then also got you guys super chatted over 50 dollars on that one live stream and just to prove to you guys how we are using our revenue to like improve our videos i got a new microphone for like singing or like voiceovers i have like my microphone for my camera and for like videos but this will be for use for some special projects that i have planned i don't know if it's gonna autofocus like autofocus please oh yeah beautiful and then what i thought was even cooler is i got a pop filter which you know you see singers like singing with them like over you go like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah this is a pop filter i think it's kind of like a swy flutter <laughs> swy flutter <laughs> but like, you know what, it's okay. Thank you all for your support. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. Also make sure to like and subscribe and now I'm really blown up by the light. Okay, let's just get into it. I've Hamilton stuck in my head today. I've been listening to it so much recently. Okay, if you could be BFFs with anyone from the KOTLC books, other than Sophie and Keith, who would they be? I would probably be BFFs with Biana or Jensi, those two, because I love Jensi and Biana. They're perfect. Okay, since Sophie has been such an impact on Keith's life, what do you think would happen to Keith if Sophie never came to Lost Cities but Never Seen and Black Stuff was still happening? Would he join the Never Seen or join the Black Swan? I think that if Sophie never came to Lost Cities, he would be fine because I feel like Sophie almost sort of stemmed his problems like she was the one who brought him into this whole like weird scary revolution i know that like uh lady jilla was technically in the never scene but i just don't think lady jilla would have been revealed if it was for sophie i feel like keith would just still be okay i mean he still would have been verbally and like manipulated like by his parents or verbally abused and manipulated by his parents but i still th i think that he would just be a little bit better if sophie was actually not there this is a sad question but would you be more impacted if marka died or bronte died okay that's a good question i would honestly have to say even though i like mark more I would probably say Bronte just because he's been in the book a lot more. He's been in a lot of those scenes that like are kind of, he's kind of acts as a dad for Sophie, which is why I want him to be Sophie's dad. But I just think that would impact me a little bit more. He's kind of like a father figure, like a really important person, kind of like Mr. Forkel, if you know what I mean. Like he, Mr. Forkel's incident kind of really made me like, tear up a little bit like that was the only death in the series that made me tear up so i think that bronte and i just feel like i have a soft spot for like those tough kind of like people having an emotional scene like the um, you know tough mr forkel tough bronte just those kind of tough people that kind of start breaking down really like makes me emotional i can burn that was my interpretation of burn from hamilton okay let's get on to the next one i think i answered elise's but we'll just go on who has better hair keith or tam i would say that's a hard question i really like keith's hair and i also like tam's hair mm, who has better hair let me look at the covers real quick okay if we're going by like nightfall cover and legacy cover i feel like keith's hair is a little bit better uh because tam is kind of more like straight down and then keith is more like a little bit puffy that's what i kind of like today i'm rocking like the the kind of down look but sometimes i really have some frizzy hair so i just i think i like keith's hair better a little bit if you could choose one media to transform kotlc into what would it be tv show animated series movie comic book musical play okay i would probably go with either like a musical or an animated series like a, or like a tv show i think those would be mine do you think that orlai's secret will be spilt 100 percent, yes that's like not even a question because like they're going into like her cash oh wait no no, no. do you think that orlai's secret i think that it will because i think shannon could really use that for like a big dramatic point in the series so yes definitely i hope orlai's secret gets spilt and then like the whole world kind of just like is reeling because of like this secret all right izzy how do you pronounce psychic? Well, that's how I pronounce psychic. Um, it's it's not physic. I feel like some people say physic. It's psychic, right? F psychic. Let me let me look up a pronunciation. Physic. Wait. Physic. 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 
It is physic. Oh, why was I saying psychic? Ew, that's weird. I don't like. Ooh, okay. Anyways, what do you think Blur and Wraith could be? Blur, Jensie's brother, Wraith. I have no absolute clue on Wraith. Like, we need some sort of hint. Like, Shannon, give us some hint. Like, Wraith, maybe some sort of, like, Vacker relative. That's that's what I've been thinking because, like, it's a Vanisher. And I know that, like, Vackers are common. Like, at least on the Della, like, the mom kind of route of the Vackers. Would you rather have Mellow Mount or Butter Blast? I think I answered this uh, similar type of question in my drawing thing. But I would rather have Butter Blast because I've already had Mellow Mount. So what's the point of having it again? Would you rather read a mix-up of Percy Jackson in Keeper of Lost Cities or a mix-up of Harry Potter and Keeper of Lost Cities. Okay, this is gonna be controversial. I know a lot of people are gonna yell at me, but I don't like Percy Jackson, and y'all can't, like, yell at me for this. This is just my opinion. I just don't like it as much as I like Harry Potter, so of course I love a Harry Potter. And I just feel like mixing, like, Greek mythology with KOTLC. Ugh. I could see, like, mixing, like, magic spells and stuff with KOTLC, but mixing Greek gods? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, um, do you think a better world like what is shown in Lost Cities is possible for people in society's IRL? Absolutely not. I don't think that we will ever be able to have like a utopian society, if that makes sense. I just think that's like kind of like an impossible task. I also might like drop my exposure down because I feel like I'm brightening up the state. No, I need to brighten it back up. Okay. Woo! -hoo! Anyways, um. Woo! It's just you, myself, and I. Solo ride until I die. I'm not going to read out the whole question, but that's just basically my thoughts. What would tour theme? song for so it's be i don't know i don't really ship it what would your elf self be like complete ability name etc okay i'll try to link a card up there i made this amazing video of making myself into an elf it was the funnest thing ever one of my favorite videos on the channel you guys loved it i started off with talking about bojangles i ended off dancing to frozen for a minute so if you just want a big chaotic video of me definitely make sure to go check out that video on the channel it's called like elf myself or something and then what do you think keeps the next power would be i honestly don't know i don't have a preference but i hope it's like something new maybe if kotc would be on tv would you rather have it a series or a movie i would rather have a series and i would have it live action not animated because i don't know i just feel like with books kind of i feel like with book to movie adaptations i want a live action <laughs> and hi troy here's my question do you think keith's new ability will have something to do with his empathy maybe maybe but i don't think it will i think it'll be something to like maybe complement it a little bit but mainly something that can help him even more what do you think biana's legacy is i honestly don't think biana will have like a big purpose in the book series just as of right now i just don't think she's been that important but i would love to see her get more of a big role because she's one of my favorite characters so honestly like she can be a counselor she can be something like I want her to be a boss, you know? <laughs> what do you think the great Gulan incident is? I think that Keith snuck into Foxfire and hid some Gulans and just released them with one person, with another person that we don't know yet. Hey, I have a nice suggestion. Maybe you can arrange for Shannon Messenger to come to the channel for just one video. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll email her. Just kidding. She's never gonna respond to that. <laughs> What language do you think that the enlightened language sounds most like? I don't think I want to like talk about languages or whatever like that. But if it was, I'm just going to say like French maybe because you know how Sophie was like in Paris and like someone spoke a different language to her and she never even noticed it. I don't know. I'm just going to go with French for no particular reason. What songs from any musical do you think fits each of the characters? characters? Oh no, we're not going to go into that because that's a long topic. Maybe I'll do that one day, like a whole video, but not for like one question. <laughs> Which death effect did you the most? I I actually uh, talked about this earlier. I think it is Forkle, Forkle's death. Like, Forkle man, I love you, and he died, and I was like, oh my gosh. So, yes. All right, let's find some more questions. Okay, who in the KOTC gang would you rather date? I don't know, I don't like thinking about that with fictional characters. What would you elven house look like? My elven house would probably be like in a rainforest, or like a jungle, like the Amazon jungle vibes, and there would be like a waterfall, and like you have to kind of go through the waterfall into the house, and then there's like these boardwalks through this Amazon jungle. I kind of talked about this in my the crony elf elfing myself video that we did. You, you guys should just definitely check that out. It was everything. Favorite counselor. My favorite counselor is Counselor Bronte and Counselor Orlai, but I like Counselor Bronte a little bit more. Do you think Sophie overreacted about the Orlai reveal? I think Sophie definitely overreacted. Like you have a mom, so use that to your advantage. Like don't get mad. Would you rather fight Verdi or the Verminian? I would rather fight... Isn't Verdi the... Oh, no. I think Verdi is a Tyrannosaur. I'd rather fight the Verminian. If you could meet only one of the Song Twins, who would it be? I would probably meet Tam. Because I feel like Lynn has been a little bit... I always used to love Tam or Lynn more. But then she kind of just pulled back. And she just kind of felt like less... I don't know, just less of what I like in a character, so I don't know. Do you think Glimmer is good or bad? I think Glimmer is 
a mix of both. She has some good tendencies and she has some bad tendencies. I feel like that she'll kind of get good with the, the Black Swan, but then betray them. But maybe she'll get into a relationship with Tam, maybe? Okay, and now I'm starting to get to questions that I already did. So I think that means that we're done. Let's do an outro and then we're gonna go. Oh, Nitty Ready Reads uploaded the video. One second. Hi, hello. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This wraps up this video. I had a great time with it. I had a great time finishing up this q and I don't think there's that many more questions, so we're just gonna leave it at that. There's not gonna be part three. Uh, I'll do more Q&As in the future. Maybe if we hit like 4K or 5K or do something like that. Um, we are actually very close to 4K. I think we might be able to hit it by the end of this month. So definitely go subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure to like this video. Liking is probably the best way to support us and like it really kind of helps videos do better or like it kind of also just shows us like if you like the video, or not like just we can determine a lot by the amount of likes so just make sure to like it if you enjoyed it and also comment down below with like how did you think of this video do you like the format do you like my bookshelf do you like the questions what were some of your answers to the questions that were on the screen like let's have a good discussion i love responding to your comments it always leaves me like procrastinating from school like i always just like okay i'm in class i'm kind of bored L let's just reply to some comments so that's what i've been doing lately because yeah i need some life and school kind of depletes my life <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for watching i'll leave the last video up there for you guys on I'll see you in the next one. Love you all so much. Thanks again for your support. And I will see you very shortly. Bye, everyone. Love you so much. Also, check out Troy Reese on YouTube. <laughs>